Question 8.14. Questioner, what's the objective with respect to the conquest of the Orion group? Answer, I am Ra. As we have said previously, their objective is to locate certain mind, body, spirit complexes which vibrate in resonance with their own vibrational complex, then to enslave the young elite, as you may call those who are not of the Orion vibration. Question 8.15 Questioner, was the landing at Pascagoula in 1973 when Charlie Hickson was taken aboard this type of landing? Answer, I am Ra. The landing of which you speak was what you would call an anomaly. It was neither the Orion influence nor our peoples in thought form, but rather a planetary entity of your own vibration which came through quarantine and all innocence in a random landing. Question 8.16 Questioner, what did they do to Charlie Hickson when they took him on board? Answer, I am Ra. They used his mind, body, spirit complex as life experience, concentrating upon the experience of the complexes of what you call war. Question 8.17. Questioner, how did they use them? Answer, I am Ra. The use of experience is to learn. Consider a race who watches a movie. It experiences a story and identifies with the feelings, perceptions, and experiences of the hero. Question 8.18. Questioner, was Charlie Hickson originally of the same social memory complex of the ones who picked him up? Answer, I am Ra. This entity of vibratory sound complex did not have a connection with those who used him. Question 8.19. Questioner, did those who used him use his war experiences to learn more of the law of one? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 8.20. Questioner, did the entities who picked him up have the normal configuration? His description of them was rather unusual. Answer, I am Ra. The configuration of their beings is their normal configuration. The unusualness is not remarkable. We ourselves, when we chose a mission among your peoples, needed to study your peoples for had we arrived in no other form than our own, we would have been perceived as light. Question 8.21 Questioner, what density were the entities who picked up Charlie Hickson from? Answer, I am Ra. The entities in whom you show such interest are third density beings of a fairly advanced order. We should express the understanding to you that these entities would not have used the mind, body, spirit complex, Charlie, except for the resolve of this entity before incarnation to be of service. Question 8.22 Questioner, what was the home or origin of the entities who picked up Charlie? Answer, I am Ra. These entities are of the Sirius Galaxy. Question 8.23. Questioner, the most startling information that you have given me, which I must admit that I'm having difficulty believing, is that the United States has 573 craft of the type which you described. How many people of United States designation are aware of these craft, including those who operate them? Answer, I am Ra. The number of your peoples varies for there are needs to communicate at this particular time-space nexus so that the number is expanding at this time. The approximate number is 1,500. It is only approximate for as your illusory time-space continuum moves from present to present at this nexus many are learning. Question 8.24 Questioner, where are these craft constructed? Ra, these craft are constructed one by one in two locations, in the desert or arid regions of your so-called New Mexico and in the desert or arid regions of your so-called Mexico, both installations being under the ground. Question 8.25 Questioner, am I to believe that the United States actually has a manufacturing plant in Mexico? Answer, I am Ra. I spoke thusly. May I, at this time, Reiterate that this type of information is very shallow and of no particular consequence compared to the study of the law of one. However, we carefully watch these developments in hopes that your peoples are able to be harvested in peace. Question 8.26 Questioner, I am totally aware that this line of questioning is of totally no consequence at all, but this particular information is so startling to me that it makes me question your validity on this. Up until this point I was in agreement with everything you had said. This is very startling to me. 
It just does not seem possible to me that this secret could have been kept for 27 years, and that we are operating these craft. I apologize for my attitude, but I thought that I would be very honest. It is unbelievable to me that we would operate a plant in Mexico, outside of the United States, to build these craft. Maybe I'm mistaken. These craft are physical craft built by physical people. Could I go get in one and ride in one? Is that correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. You could not ride one. The United States, as you call your society divisional complex, creates these as a type of weapon. Question 8.27. Questioner, there are no occupants then? No pilot, shall I say? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 8.28. Questioner, how are they controlled? Answer, I am Ra. They are controlled by computer from a remote source of data. Question 8.29. Questioner, why do we have a plant in Mexico? Answer, I am Ra. The necessity is both for dryness of the ground and for a near total lack of population. Therefore, your so-called government and the so-called government of your neighboring geographical vicinity arranged for an underground installation. The government officials who agreed did not know the use to which their land would be put, but thought it a governmental research installation for use in what you would call bacteriological warfare. Question 8.30 Questioner, is this the type of craft that Dan Fry was transported in? Answer, I am Ra. The one known as Daniel was, in thought form, transported by Confederation thought form vehicular illusion in order to give this mind, body, spirit complex data so that we might see how this type of contact aided your people in the uncovering of the intelligent infinity behind the illusion of limits. Question 8.31. Questioner, would it be possible for any of us to have contact with the Confederation in a more direct way? Answer, I am Ra. In observing the distortions of those who underwent this experiential sequence we decided to gradually back off, shall I say, from direct contact in thought form. The least distortion seems to be available in mind-to-mind -mind communication. Therefore, the request to be taken aboard is not one we care to comply with. You are most valuable in your present orientation. Question 8.32 Questioner, the reason that I have questioned you so much and so carefully about the craft which you say the United States government operates is that if we include this in the book it will create numerous problems. It is something that I am considering leaving out of the book entirely, or I am going to have to question you in considerable detail about it. It's difficult to even question in this area, but I would like to ask a few more questions about it with the possible option of leaving it in the book. What is the diameter of the craft which the United States has? Answer, I am Ra. I suggest that this be the last question for this session. We will speak as you deem fit in further sessions, asking you to be guided by your own discernment only. The approximate diameter, given several model changes, is 23 of your feet, as you measure. May we ask at this time if you have a needed short query before we end this session? Question 8.33. Questioner, is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. The instrument is well balanced. It is possible to make small corrections in the configuration of the spine of the instrument that it be straighter. Continue also to continually monitor the placement and orientation of the symbols used. This particular session, the sensor is slightly off and, therefore, this instrument will experience a slight discomfort. Question 8.34. Questioner, is the sensor off in respect to angle or in respect to lateral displacement? Answer, I am Ra. There is an approximate 3 degrees displacement from proper perpendicularity. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the One Creator. Adonai.